Hey everyone, welcome back to more Ring of Pain. I am Disturbing Puppet. So this is kind of an odd, um, it is kind of a roguelike game in that you do multiple runs. You unlock new stuff that can show up, but it's not necessarily any better than the stuff you had access to earlier. It's basically a game that's more akin to like a puzzle. Uh, there is combat in it, kind of. Um, it's more sort of getting through stuff. It's very kind of psychological horror-esque, um, a little creepy, disturbing, unusual kind of thing. Um, it's not like Slay the Spire, it's not a deck builder or any of that kind of stuff, you're not messing with the deck. You're kind of building special items that give you bon benefits in combat, and then you also are deciding on certain attribute upgrades that will give you benefits in combat. Uh, there's poison mechanics, there's uh, all kinds of other goofy stuff, there's armor piercing, there's armor, um, there's the ability to reduce the maximum health of enemies. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So we'll kind of take a look at it as we go through. There has been a pretty big upgrade or update uh, a while back, the Time Weaver update um, more recently. It's been a while since I last recorded any of this, but I've been playing this quite a bit lately. Uh, definitely a lot more options for like the different items that you can pick up and how they sort of work together. So start off pretty simple. So, we have attack, so how much attack we do, minus target's defense, equals our damage. Defense blocks physical damage, excess defense adds a chance to parry all piercing damage. So enemies, you've got basic attacks, and then there's also the piercing damage. Speed, who attacks first, uh, adds dodge and stealth chance. Clarity, which I don't often boost much. Critical hit chance, which uh, I think is double damage when you crit. Soul gain bonus per kill, so we're gaining souls, which is up here. Everything we kill is worth a certain amount of souls, and we use that to get stuff. And then curse resistance, so there's special items that might hurt you, but depending on the stat, uh, it kind of gets it more in your favor. So there's potions that, if you have low clarity, will probably hurt you if you take them, but if you have high clarity, they'll heal if you take them. So we've got our crit hit chance, dodge chance, which is basically just avoiding getting hit at all, and then stealth, which means we can kind of rotate around the ring and avoid getting hit. And then we do start with one item, which is a 20% stealth chance boost. So we've got items back here. We can kind of move around. If I do move, so it'll tell you pretty much down here, if I fight, I'm going to go first, which is that. I'm going to do two damage. He's going to then hit me back and do two damage. If I kill him first, he's not going to hit me. The other ones won't attack, but there are later creatures that will attack you if they are in the front, even if you're not directly engaging them. So we've got health potions, we've got treasures. I kind of want to get to the treasures, but let's go ahead and do a quick fight here. So that was pretty simple, very quick, very easy, just do the click. We're done. All right, so the stat bonus. So later we'll have choices of some things will go up and other things will go down. Right now everything uh, basically just affecting one and going up. I think let's go with a little more attack power. Let's get an item. All right, Halberd, extra three attack, that's generally pretty good. Guard, uh, plus 5% parry is decent. Two defense, quite good. Negative, minus one speed. So this is, yeah, pretty decent. Um, I do like having a little bit more defense. It's nice having a, a good chunk of offense to start with, too, especially if I'm quicker. But that's going to change awfully quick. Um, I don't think I've ever used the Halberd, so let's take the Halberd. So right now, you're going to go first and hit me, but then I'll kill you. You I can hit first, so I'll just insta-kill you. Let's rotate away. If I had gone the other way, the enemy would have had a chance to attack me if I had stealthed. So what do we got? Shrouded Leather, plus 5% stealth chance, just overall good. Shorts, plus 1 poison on attack. So that means I poison enemies when I hit them. I do lose 1 defense for that, gain some speed, and I can kind of hover over it to kind of see what we get. I don't necessarily like the weakening defense. The poison on attack is pretty helpful early on. The stealth chance here just isn't that big a deal. Um, going from 22 to 27, eh, whatever. Let's, yeah, let's go offense here. And we'll do this. So there it wasn't sure who would attack first. So there you can kind of see the question mark. It's equal, roll for initiative. And I got lucky. Kill you. These guys blow up, so everyone has special effects. So if they have something like this, so deal six explode damage when he dies, and they will blow themselves up too. So I'm gonna move away from you. I'm gonna take a health potion, and I'm gonna bail. So this creepy guy shows up quite a bit. Um, we'll talk to him later. Bearing gift, scavenged prize. So he has a free thing for me. 
Striker's Veil, plus 5% crit and dodge for each negative point of defense. Um, I've seen quite a few of these things lately that are, for some negative stat, you get some kind of benefit. And... Yeah, I don't see how... I mean, unless I can get the dodge to 100%, I really don't... Or at least 90. I really don't see the worth of this, and that would require getting my defense way down. I don't think having a negative defense means the enemy does additional damage. They still only have that maximum attack. It's not like it's going to get buffed. Um, yeah, that's risky. The last time I played, I went for a lot, like a ton of armor and a ton of health. 30-some health, and I had 25, 26, 27 armor, something like that. And still, I ran into something that eventually just was able to eat me. So, uh, it was looking pretty good until then. I don't know about this. I mean, I'll take it <laughs> and hope we get something better. We'll kind of see how it goes. Alright, got stat bonuses. So right now, um, anything will just do maximum damage to me. I do have a little bit of dodge chance, that's not great. What do we want? So I could go defense, but that's going to weaken my dodge. Speed is nice. Clarity is okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go speed. If I can go a little faster, at least early on. Uh, these guys you don't want to kill because they'll just blow up in your face. So we'll try to go by. So there, you spotted me. Uh, yeah, they're going to kind of chase me and want to blow up. But as soon as one of them is going to blow up, it should chain react. Okay, so over here we have some special items. We've got a tome spellbook kind of thing, which we can use, but then it's on a cooldown. So we can just wait. Eh, it's not that big a deal. Catalyst. Doubles gain from the next three stat boosts. That's really good. So almost all these jar ones have a limited use, so this only has three uses. But that's really fantastic. I will happily take that. So, you can see there, he's just going to blow himself up. I will let him. Alright, what do we got? Freeze closest four cards when hit. I don't want to get rid of this until we've gotten use out of it. Icebreaker, plus four damage to frozen creatures. It's not bad. Um, we lose a couple attack. I gain some defense, but that's actually kind of bad with the other stuff I've got in speed. We could just reroll for free. And I think I will, actually, in this case. Yeah. Because I've got so many empty spots. I've got to get something. First strike, your first attack each dungeon is a crit. That's pretty good. Extra speed. Negative clarity. Not a big deal. Porous shell gives me the poison damage resistance, which is really nice. Uh, poison just kind of, if you have like two points of poison, you'll take two points that turn. Then it will drop by one each turn. So it'll be one damage the next turn. So if you take five, it's then five, then four, then three, then two. And if a creature is continually poisoning you, it just keeps stacking up, which is not good. Do I want the Porous Shell? I think so. Let's go Porous Shell. It does decrease my dodge. I mean, First Strike is nice. That can help later when the critters get really big. But for now, I'm going to take that. Uh, we're going first, so I will happily kill you. And you. And we can kind of actually, we can look at more info and see the names of things. Gnawling. Um, when you get to some of the more advanced stuff, it's slightly important to know what they do. I would kind of like these guys to blow up. Yeah, they're just not going to blow up. Alright, fine. I will do that and leave. I Just get more souls if they die, that's all. Okay, you are going to hit me first for a ton of damage. So you are a Restless Triad. So you can kind of see there's six physical damage, a couple piercing damage... Couple defense, speed of eight. This is the one um, that can hurt me. So the higher my clarity, the more chance. You kind of see it's there. Forty-seven percent chance minus six health, and uh, fifty-three percent chance to get five health. Uh, I've got a bunch of you guys. I really don't want to hit you. I mean, I will kill you, but you're going to do a lot of damage to me in the process. I really want to get to something that's going to give me some kind of stat boost. Let's try to get away. Okay, you're going to blow up. Let's get away from that. Take that. We can leave to go to an ambush. Probably not a great place to go. Shrouded leather. So we can swap out the porous shell. 
Get the stealth chance. Lose the poison resistance. Get some health. I'm generally happy with what I've got. What do we have here? Okay, unfortunately, I already have stuff here. So, three times guaranteed curse resistance, getting clarity three times, just a, a stat buff. Let's reroll. Give me something else. Uh, this is what I had before. So, I had done a really slow uh, build with very slow... Um, so that I would be attacking second, adding Petrify, which reduces the maximum health, and then I had just a truck ton of armor and um, health. That was the build that I had last time. It worked pretty well up to a point. Um, let's go Cure. So I can heal and get rid of my poison. Um, well, we could just try to get away. Might be the best course of action here. There is a potion there. Let's just go. No visitor. This guy is kind of creepy. Uh, I'm not sure if it's even just one. It's multiple. There's a lot of like weird insect stuff and bird things and all kinds of things. And I think it's like all in my head. There's also a big, weird, amorphous light creature. Um, so I can't afford the lucky shoes. I don't have anything in that slot. So it's a couple health and three clarity. That's just generally good. We could heal instead. I can't afford the venom guard, which is unfortunate. I'll take the lucky shoes don't really have a build. I potentially could have a build based on the Striker's Veil, but I don't know. I mean, I can absolutely nuke you, but you're going to hurt me for a lot. I can heal a little bit. Let's see what we've got here. Stone skin, one health turns into defense. It's a one use. Rock, three damage. If target's killed, reusable. Shadow step, guaranteed stealth for the next three attempts. Uh, I'm faster than you. You're gonna blow up. Let's go. I probably should have used the shadow step there before. Could have used it there as well. Can bail. I really want the stat improvement. So it's kind of a weird place we can go to. Um, yeah, let's just use this. So we've got this, which will double whatever stat we get. And this one's going to be plus four, but other things are going to go down. So what do we want? Um, I mean, defense would be nice, but it sort of works against this. Right now, it's not really giving me a benefit, though. So we could go speed. Um... I do have a decent amount of attack. We can go health. So it will... I think my current health will go up if I pick this. Yeah, so we'll take that. So I can take some damage if I want to. I can also just kind of stealth past. Was that a regular potion? Yes, take that. And we'll just go to the regular section. Level 5. Okay, there's an unhappy boy, but I can kill you instantly. What are you, anyway? Wretched Amalgam. Yeah, you don't look very happy, that's for sure. Now, this guy uh, will change back and forth in shape. Right now, he's vulnerable. He'll attack me first, but at points, he'll have, like, spines coming out of him, which will do you damage if you attack him. Okay, let's get away from that. 55% chance of a heal. I don't know if I'd like that odds. And there's the spiky version. So yeah, if I attack him, I just instantly die. Which is unfortunate. And probably not good for me. And stuff will happen. Some of these uh, enemies will move around. Others will spit and attack from you from range. Uh, there's all kinds of crazy stuff like that. I'm just going to fix things up. Um, I don't want to go that way. Okay, that hurt. Now, 
Yeah, right now they're not moving around. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm just not getting a lot of kills here. I think this build is not ideal. Not that it's really much of a build, honestly. We're kind of getting into harder enemies, and I really don't have anything working that well. I've got decent attack. I've got mediocre speed. I have a tiny dodge chance. Crit chance is not bad. I could just bail, but things get harder as you go. You kind of want to pick up stuff. Yeah, I mean, if, if he attacks me here, I'm dead. So I kind of have to leave. And I might just have to do that at some point. Um, okay, so this is a sacrificial shrine. Um... I don't know what this does. And it's not giving me any explanation. Everything's red, so I'm not sure... I'm probably going to lose a stat, would be my guess. Something's going to go down. Health, attack, defense, speed, or clarity. But I'm not sure what I'll get in exchange. Let's find out. Okay, I lost an armor, which kind of works with my Striker's Veil. But I don't think I gained anything... As far as I can tell. Okay, so a couple times to get an item. Bloodstone, heal one on attack, 80% chance. Um, that's pretty good. I don't have anything in that slot. It gives me five health, it gives me plus 10% crit and dodge chance. That's really quite nice. I haven't seen that before. Um, yeah, that's quite a good item. So I, at this point, speed would probably be my friend. I want to get the hits in first. Alright, back to this guy. Um, so we could go with the stealth necklace. Extra stealth chance. It's getting to 33. It's okay. Um, gives me an extra attack. Gives me a little bit extra health. That's always nice. Gets me up to 30 some health. Or I can just heal. Um, I feel like I'm in danger... I mean, this is generally helpful. Um, Alright, I'm going to hope that I can find something to heal me once we get into the next section. Alright, uh, I'm going to go first here, so you can die. Thank you very much. Let's see what we can find here. Create a random exit card. Nice. Transform target into a frog. Can definitely help. Uh, fully heal. How about I take that? You're going to blow up and cause some problems. I'm going to go ahead and heal, and then I'm going to try to get away. This guy's going to wail on me. He's going to blow up, but he won't be next to me. Okay. Well, I'm not poisoned. I can run away as well. You'd hit me first and do a ton of damage to me. You're poisoned. The poison... So three, four, five. It will kill you if I just run away from you, but he's going to probably follow me. should die. Yeah. Okay, and then we have you, the Viscid Twins, who will poison me for two. Got 20, but that's not enough. I'd really like stat improvements, but I'm not really coming across. I'm just getting all these chests. I really want to use the catalyst for the stat boosts. Uh, so this guy, special blocker, can't be passed, so I can't just go by him. You see, I don't even have the option. I can hit him first, so uh, sure, let's do that. Take him out, and I think it triggered there to give me some health back. So we can leave. I don't have enough to open a chest. Yeah, let's just go. Still need health. Bearing gifts, a scavenged prize. So, free item. Plus one treasure in every dungeon. Okay, I mean, that's quite nice. Only three times, but I do get an extra attack and a couple clarity. I don't have anything in that slot, so I might as well take it. It doesn't give me any negatives or anything. Alright, so we could grab the 20. I was hoping it'd be a stat improvement. That's a stat improvement there for sure. Okay, that's bad. What are you? Richard Amalgam. 
Let's run away from that guy who's going to blow up. So you're eating things, but you're getting poisoned in the process. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to move away from you and let the poison kill you, hopefully. There we go. Alright. Two, so it'll actually be four. Um, we don't want to go defense, so I think we want to go speed. If I can go faster and get a good shot in, then I might also heal at the same time. That's just generally nice. Alright, see what we can get here. So, I don't think... Yeah, this isn't very good. Um, I'd much rather have the cure. Slow burn. Reduce piercing damage taken by one. That's not bad. I lose three health. I gain a couple clarity. Hmm. I can't re-roll. I can potentially deal with the slow burn. The piercing damage can sometimes be irritating. I do want a ton of health if I can get it. 58% chance to heal here. Do I want to take that risk? Let's check things out. That just shuffles stuff, shuffles stuff. Uh, I'm going first here, finally, so I can just kill that guy. And get guaranteed health. Berserker Relic. Intimidate creature on attack. So this is something you definitely want with speed. Uh, it does drop my defense, which actually kind of works for this. And then I lose a point of health, which does suck. But because I'm losing that defense, I'm gaining extra crit chance and dodge. 40% Intimidate. Um, so yeah, if I take this... I don't have anything in the spot, the spot, so it's fine. Let's take it. Um, I really want to increase my speed like crazy. That's the next thing I want to focus on. And the more my clarity goes up, the easier I can pass these checks to get health from these. I don't know that I want to risk it being up at 27. Got a crossroads. We can just continue. I think we'll just continue. So speed buffs, especially with this last one, if I can get a nice speed buff. Um, there is a stat increase. So this guy, Scrounger, he is kind of odd. So moves towards exit, escaping with loot. So if you can kill him, he actually has loot that you can get. So I'm going to head that general direction. Okay, you're spitting at me, but it did miss. i got to keep moving because he's going to blow up. I dodged that one. So this one uh, has a chance to hurt me. 58% I get a stat increase, 42% I lose health. I kind of want to deal with this idiot first, so let's go kill him. And he's about to leave. Uh, you're bad. You are very bad. Ice Beast. Can't be frozen. So I can get a hit in first. There's a chance he'll intimidate him and he won't hit me back, but he hits for a lot. There is a potion right here, though, so let's see if I can intimidate him. Nope, didn't work. Okay. Alright, we're in a bit of trouble. Get away. You're gonna blow up, so I have to run. Took you out. You're gonna attack me multiple times. I can just heal. I think we're gonna run. Heal. Uh, you get the first shot off, unfortunately. So I'm going to keep moving. You might blow up. See, that guy escaped with whatever he had. I dodged that. Okay, so we want to go speed here. So we can get a ton of speed. I'll lose some other stats. So now I go first, and that should just straight up kill you. Uh, I don't want you guys to blow up in my face, thanks. Banish. Teleport a creature to the back of the dungeon. Alright, sure. Take that. They're all one use anyway. This we can use multiple times. It's just on a cooldown. This, the scrolls are just one use. Um, we can take the risk here. 57%. I'm gonna go for it. Hey, we got it. Okay. Uh, speed, defense, or attack. I'm actually gonna go attack. We've got a decent amount of speed at the moment. That is overwhelm. We don't want that. Do I want to risk these? 
I mean, we can take a couple shots if we want to. I'm not down a ton. So, I'm just gonna bail. Go visitor! I can't afford anything special, which is unfortunate. I don't think I've ever even seen this one. Juggernaut. Five defense, reduce piercing damage. That's pretty good, generally. So... We saw something a bit weaker kind of version of that before. I kind of wish I had 60 now. Well, let's we'll just take the health. Power Glove. Intimidate creature on attack. So I already have Intimidate because of... what? Now, we've used this up, so if we find another jar, we'll just swap that out. So I have 40% here. I'm assuming it's two separate 40% rolls, if we had 40% on this and 40% on that. I don't think it actually adds together to 80, but it could. I would assume it's two 40s. Um, so I do lose some crit and dodge. But I've got the speed and the intimidate, so I'm going to take that. Power Glove. Excellent. You're faster than me, even though I'm at 19. You are not. You can die. You we don't want to kill, because you will blow up in my face. Um, I could teleport you away. We've got a guy back here that's going to spit at me if I get close. I'm tempted to teleport you away. But it's not, like, super urgent. Why is it saying I'm going to get hit for 20? You don't hit me for that much. 18. If I don't dodge. Okay, well, that was quite a bit. Um, alright. The danger of having really low armor, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna heal, even though I'm not poisoned. Which may have been a mistake, because this guy can poison me. How about you go away? <laughs> I'm just gonna use everything. Uh, this guy has an attack that if he goes first, then I won't... Like, he'll actually intimidate me. But I'm going first there, so you can die. Okay, this is really bad. I'm also getting spit at. Okay, I dodged that. The spit hit me. And there we go. So he hit me. If I'd been able to move over, I probably could have done something, but that was a very quick and dirty run. So, yeah, it was an interesting attempt at a build. I think it was kind of interesting. We saw the Bloodstone for the first time, which kind of helped uh, give me that extra dodge which kind of made it sort of viable to run with the Striker's Veil. I think the Striker's Veil probably ended up killing me because it had an interesting effect, but having no armor is super dangerous. So only got to depth 10. Didn't actually kill that many creatures. I think this is a pretty good time uh, for just a quick run. Um, I might do another video of stuff. I have made it up to... Not the end, but very close to the end in this. Um, and yeah, it, it gets kind of crazy as it goes along. Definitely speed, I really like. But this is uh, really cool that you can save this whenever you want. So when I had only have like 15, 20 minutes uh, to play something or you know before I need to do something else, I just kind of hop on and start a run of this. And if I don't finish it, not a big deal. Um, and a lot of roguelikes and things like that, you can't just kind of save whenever. Looking at you, Risk of Rain 2. Um, which I wish I could save in the middle of, because I never have enough time to do a run, because I have no idea how long it's going to take. So that's kind of an issue with some of these games. But this one, yeah, I can save whenever, I can just bail. But yeah, it was definitely an interesting attempt at doing something. So I kind of liked having multiple Intimidates and the speed combo, but I don't think that worked super well in combination with running no defense at all. Getting this was kind of nice. Um, and I was able to get my stats up crazy high, and like the 19 speed is pretty high, but even that, even if you go super high on certain stats, you're still going to end up being lower than some of the critters you run across. This was definitely a pretty cool item. Um, I hadn't seen this one before. I have seen this one before, but having the combination of this and this, kind of nice. But yeah, it's sort of the way things go as you do these runs and try to make things work and fit together. But yeah, probably the Striker's Veil ended up killing me. Anyway, this has been a bit of um, Ring of Pain. I've been Disturbing Puppet. I have done a couple videos on this before, but a ton of new items have been added, so things are a lot more complicated and interesting than they were before. Um, 
yeah. So if you're interested in the game, I definitely would recommend checking it out, especially if it's on sale. Uh, Risk of Rain is... Risk of Rain 2, anyway, is also a really good roguelike uh, that I... Roguelite, that I like a lot. Um, but I just don't, hardly ever have time to do runs of it. Uh, this is something I can just jump in really quick and do. Anyway, this has been Risk of Rain... Oh, this has not been Risk of Rain. This has been Ring of Pain. <laughs> they rhyme. That's what my brain's all confused because they rhyme. So I can't talk about one without pressing up my brain. All right. This has been Ring of Pain. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Till then, have a good one.